Okay, I don't think I was getting any of this recording. I'm gonna have to do that all over again. All right, I just did a manual setup of this job, so I'm gonna have to do it over again. I'm gonna wipe out all my offsets here. I just powered up the machine. I'm gonna start fresh. So I'm gonna zero out all these tools, clear tool offsets. Yes, I have no offsets in the tool geometry and nothing in the work offset. I have a program 01042. The Hokey Bishop, we're making some chess pieces for school. And I got tool three, five, and seven here. Okay. Uh, stick out 2.5. So I'm going to use my little scale here to set the distance. I'm using a 3J column system. I'll put it right there. Notice I had machined this, I had pre-machined this, so what if this is short enough? We'll start from this end, raw material end, okay. Start from scratch, right there, okay. All right, I'm gonna do manual touch off. The center of your spindle is X zero. The, the part could be anywhere left or right, so that's where the variable comes in is the Z axis. So depending on how you set this up, so we set all the tools to the front of this, then we do not need to use the work coordinate system because that's going to, this really just shifts left to right. You never, never shift the X, only the Z. Uh, if you're using the probe, you need to shift from probe to part. And I'll get into that later. I'm just going to do manual touch up. I'm going to start with tool three. So if I was, if I didn't have the turret forward, I would type in T3, alter, and just hit cycle start. That's tool change. That's not tool change with offset, that's tool 303, so. All right. Also, I need to have the turret running. There we go. And I need to do manual, and it, we can only run 500 RPM with the door open. That's fine. And I'm setting the X coordinate for tool three. So I'm gonna bring the tool over. I'm going to do some manual machining here to set the diameter. I'm going to use my door as a guard. I'm going to bring this down in X. I'm going to switch to 1000, make sure I'm still in X. Come down, use the knob, not this part. I'm going to come down till it just touches, makes a little chirp noise. close getting close almost there right there I got enough to machine in the Z direction Z left to right I wanted to get enough that I can measure with a caliper or a micrometer right there okay don't move the X just move the Z I'm going to shut the spindle off I'm going to put in the bigger numbers and just back this away do not move the X I've seen some instructors go here and set the X origin. I think uh, for beginners that can get confusing. So let's go back to where we're at. X with no zero. Everything's based on the machine coordinate system. So I am going to press X diameter measure and it puts that number here. I'm gonna measure what I have right now. This is also how you need to calibrate these things because you got to do a manual touch off to calibrate the probe if it got hit. I measure 992. Measure twice, cut once. All right, let me make sure. I'm going to use two fingers this time. I got 992 and kind of where I prefer a dial caliper, you watch the dial. I got 992 as my low number. Right here it's asking me what's the dial, it actually I went right by it, but it says what did you measure? At 992, I had 990 as my old number. So that's going to add to this. This machine thinks in diameter, right there the diameter symbol's on. If you actually do this by accident, that goes away. This won't work. You got to hit this again. X diameter measure, it says right there, enter diameter, I'm going to adjust the number, and now hit enter, that's now adjusted. The diameter got added to that, so 
It, this tool knows where the center line of the spindle is, so it'll know diameter. All right, so now I'm going to do the Z axis. Turn the spindle on. Z, big number. All right, we have this one shut off. It runs way too fast in this small machine. All right, I'm going to go in the X direction. Z, one thousandth. Slowly come in until I just touch the front. Get the little chip right there. That's probably good enough. Put it on the Z coordinate. I need that number in here, and I can use Z face measure to do that. That is now done. That tool is all set now. Bend it off, pull it away, send it all the way home for the best tool change position. Okay, next one will be tool 5 according to my program list, tool 5. So I'm going to change tools, tool 5 with a quick cost change, turret forward. I, everybody's got a little different how they do this. I use a 5,000 shim, some people use paper, or some people actually literally cut it again. So uh, I'm going to use my shim method. Because I have to match all the tools so they all align to the center of the spindle and they also align to where the part is right now. So, all right, so I'm going to bring it down close, switch to 1,000th, bring it in as close as I dare without hitting, and I'm going to put my shim in there, or you can use paper, give it a little wiggle. Be patient. Don't use the big, you want to use the knurled part of the handle. Right there, I feel like I'm getting pretty close. Right there, it's pinching. I'm going to accept that as my number. And this is X. X diameter measure. It actually holds my old number from before. Yay. I'm going to enter that. But I also have to add in for the shim. This machine thinks in diameter, so it's negative 0 0.005, but you got to do it twice, 0 0.005. That one's all set. X direction, 1,000, slowly go in the positive direction, go in the Z direction, and we got to make these both match. You can't move the part from where it is right now, and nothing's going to line up. I'm going to bring it in close by eye, and then put my shim in there. Double check, I'm in one thousandth. I don't want to bend this cutting tool or chip the carbide. Chip carbide is very brittle. Right there, I'm pinching and now I'm slipping. Okay. This is going to be my Z coordinate, which is that number right there. Hit Z face measure. Add negative 0 0.005 for the shim. That one's done. Pull that away away a lot. Send it home. Safe tool change position in a small machine. Switch to tool 7. Tower it forward. Same procedure again. Handle drag over. Z. I'm setting X and match the X to the outside. Alright. Getting close. Don't Unless you get experience, don't be in a rush. Bring it in till I get the pinch. You can even use a, they've used plastic shim before, but there's little steel ones you can get. Right there. I'm going to call that my X diameter, so it'll be X diameter measure, add that number, and add negative 0.01. That one's set to center line. X, one thousandth. Bring it up a little bit. Z direction. X direction. Z direction. Uh, getting close. But yeah, I can see better with the shim there. Be patient. One click at a time. Talk to yourself, whatever it takes, right there. It's holding the shim. That's going to be my Z face measure and negative 0 0.005. Done. Pull this away. Slowly. Bigger numbers. 
There's your moves. Send it home. All right. With this basic setup, with no work offset, I should be able to run this part. I'll do that in part two.